You don't read that in the Bible. So what did God call you? What did God call you? Indígenas aquí de Cartagena, Colombia, son del tribu de Hacer, por medio de la Biblia. Watch this, read. And his feet. He looked at his saw his feet. I can see your toes, your toes. Come on. Like unto fine brass. He saw the color of his feet. And it looked like brass. Come on, come on. What color is brass? Yeah. Yeah. It's brown. Right. But wait a minute. Cafe, cafe. That ain't this dude right here. It's you know? nice, eh? So why do we have white images in church? Why do we have white pictures of, of Jesus in Christ in our homes? In because the ones that oppress us taught us their religion. Right. You don't read no religion in the Bible. You don't read about being Catholic, Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist. You don't read about being Episcopalian, Seven Day Adventist. There's no such thing. Either you know God or you don't. That's right. trying to show you is your enemies are the ones walking around right now touring looking viewing but your people right now are stuck here they don't get to enjoy these things wait who's the ones that's in poverty here what people's in poverty here in this land the curse everywhere the same people us everywhere mm -hmm. it's your people it's your people why did they take your name from like you just said your name came from the Dutch where'd your name come from your last I think, name. I think, I think Watch this. Psalms 83. Watch this. Pay attention. This a lot of us didn't know that this was in the Bible. Read. Yeah. This is the book of Psalms 83 and verse 1. Read. Keep not thou silence, O God. Uh -huh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. So he's asking God, don't keep silent. Rise up. Help us. Come on. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. He said, God, your enemies have made an uprising, right? Watch, read on. And they that hate thee, and they that hate thee, have lifted up the head. Read. They that, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Now y'all been here long enough. Who's God's people? It's you. It's the Israelites. Right. They have taken crafty counsel against the children of Israel. They all came together to conspire against you. Read. And consulted against thy hidden one. Read. They have said. They have said. Come. Come. And let us cut them off. Let us cut them off. Read. From being a nation. How can you cut someone off from being a nation? Read out. What is your nationality? You say Dutch. Damn. What's your nationality? Damn. Now they would call me American, right? But did God call you that? Bring it out. Do you read Dutch in here? Bring it out. No. You, do you read American in here? No. Do you read um, African American or African Dutch? Is that in here? They have cut you off from being a nation. White people named us, and then they gave us their names, right. so we wouldn't know who we really are. Right. Watch this. Read on. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off." Come on. From being a nation. Read that the name of Israel. The name of who? Israel. The name of who? Israel. The name of Israel. Read. Maybe no more in remembrance. Would be no more in remembrance. This is why you don't remember that you are Israel. That that is your nation. That that's where you come from. The people in Jerusalem today, are they the rightful heirs of Jerusalem? Are they the original people that were there? No, who was there? Your ancestors. Right. Your ancestors were right. there. And we were taken into slavery, down into Africa, in different parts of the world, and what? Made slaves. And they made the name of Israel in no more remembrance. Right now, if you ask a brother, watch this. Hey, brother. Are you an Israelite? Are you an Israelite? They don't even know what that means. We have no remembrance of who we are. Come here, brother. Come here. Do you know who the Israelites are? No. You don't know who they are. Who, you know who the Jews are? Yeah. Who's the Jews? It's you! Right! 
Wait, but it says in the name will be no more in remembrance. We wouldn't remember any longer that we are the children of Israel because they made us forget. They gave us their last names and then they renamed our nation. Right. But that's not what God called us. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 46. What do white people call the dark-skinned people here? The, is there a name for us here? A derogatory name. So let me show you. When I, where I'm from in America, you know what they call us? Niggers. Niggai. Do they say that here? No. What do they call black people here? What's a racial term for black? Y'all don't have one? No. No? Watch this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. I'll say Dutch. Go ahead. And they shall be above me. Salam Aleikum. What's that mean? Huh? Israel. Is that you? No, I'm a No, 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 no. We the Jews. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Watch this. Else? Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. God said the curses would be upon us for a sign and a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon our seed forever. Do all, have y'all read the curses in the Bible before? What if I told you? That the true Jews, the real Jews, hey, I, what if I told you that the real Jews went into slavery with slave ships? Bring it up. Would you believe it? Huh? You would. Now, what if I told you that those Jews that went into slavery with slave ships were your people? Good. And the Bible said it would happen. Deuteronomy 28, 68. When you read the Bible, see, church has made us look at the Bible from a spiritual place. But nobody wants to actually read it for what it says. Here's an example. Y'all heard of tithes? Pay tithe 10% to the pastor? Is that in the Bible? No, it's not in the Bible. But everybody going into their pocket, passing addition money to the pastor. And make the pastor rich. And make the pastor rich while you what? A poor. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Again with ships. God said the Israelites were going to go into slavery again with ships. Who did that happen to? It happened to your people, your people, my people, the people here at Carousel, the people in Costa Rica, the America, all over. We went into slavery with slave ships. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. We're nothing, and we were black, we're Dutch, we're American. Just be happy and live while they sit around here ride around on, on tourist bikes looking at you like you're some type of exhibit. Bring it up. This is terrible. This is your land. You should, exactly. You should be the one. You should be the one that's living off this land. You should be the one that's able to what? Move around and do as you want. But we can't. Why? Because that's why God's commandments. God's commandments. That's why God gave me a free. That's why what? Ready? He gave me a free and we're free forever. Free forever? Yeah. Watch this. Are our people free now? No. No. Because they, they, they listen to do God. Because God's we didn't do what God said to yeah, do. Man. So we got to come back to what God said and remember who we are. There's no such thing. You don't read Dutch in the Bible. So what did God call you? What did God call you? When you read up your nation in here, where do you come from? What people do you descend from? You know Adam was real, right? Right. And then he had a son named who? Remember Cain and Abel? Cain killed Abel, then he had a son named Seth. Yeah. Then you read on down and you have what? Abraham, then you have Isaac, then you have Jacob. Right. right. Who do you descend from? You descend from those men. That's but right. they don't teach us that. When you read about the people in the Bible, what color are they? Bring it out. Job 30 and 30. Yes, Bring it out. They are black like us. They black like yeah. us. Yeah. But when you look at all the images yeah, in church. The white try to think us down. That's why. Exactly. Right. Think about we, it. We are, you see that are, imagery. We, listen, we you are, don't see we, God in it. We are the children of Israel. We are the children yeah. of Israel. Yeah. You're all right, brother. You are all right. Now watch this. I want to show you because we can't just say it. We got to prove it. Give me Job 30 and 30. The book of Job. Chapter 30 and verse 30. Job, who is an Israelite, a prophet of God, he's going to tell you about himself. Read. My skin is black. Read that again. My skin is black. He said, my skin is black. But when we look at the images in church, what color are they? White. White, because white people control the narrative. Yeah. Wow. The, the victor of the war gets to tell the story. Right. He right. They fit me. Watch this, bro. One more. Revelation 1. What color did Jesus look like? 
color was Christ. Because when we go in church, this is the guy we see everywhere. You know? the, does the Bible give us a description? That is fake. That's nowhere in the Bible. But when I read, watch this, Revelation 1. Give me verse uh, 10. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. Read. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Which is the Sabbath day. Come on. And heard behind me a So John the Revelator said he heard behind him. Read. A great voice. He heard a deep voice. Come on. As of a trumpet. As of a trumpet. Read. Say it. Read. I am Alpha and Omega. Come on. The first and the last. Read. Verse. And what thou seest, uh -huh. write in a book. He told John, what you see, write in a book. So we're about to read what he saw, right? Give me verse 12. Verse 12. Read. And I turn to see the voice that spake with me. He said, I turn to see the voice that spoke to me, read. And being turned, come on. I saw seven golden candles. He saw a menorah, come on. So he's writing it down, read. And in the midst of the seven candles, read. One, look unto the Son of Man. He saw Jesus Christ. John the Revelator saw Jesus Christ with his and eyes, right? Now, read. Go with a garment down about the pups with a golden girdle. Remember, he told him to write all this down. So he's right down. He had a garment that went all the way down. Come on. His head and his hair were white like wool. Wait a minute. It says the hairs on his head and the hairs on his face were what? White. White. They were white, read. Like wool. And woolly texture. Textura. Look at my man's hair right now. Break it out. Look at your hair. Break it out. It says it was white and woolly textured. They ain't talking about this. You don't black and watch this, read. As white as snow. It was white in color. Read. And his eyes. And his eyes. But as a flame of fire. Burn is like, I'm looking at you, I see the same thing. Now watch this, read. And his feet. He looked down, he saw his feet. I can see your toes, your toes. Come on. Like unto fine brass. He saw the color of his feet. And it looked like brass. What color is brass? It's brown. But wait a minute. That ain't this dude right here. So why do we have white images in church? Why do we have white pictures of, of Jesus Christ in our homes? Because the ones that oppress us taught us their religion. You don't read no religion in the Bible. You don't read about being Catholic, Pentecostal. Baptist, Methodist. You don't read about being Episcopalian, Seven Day Adventist. There's no such thing. Either you know God or you don't. That's right. Now watch this. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. Not only was he brown, it says it looked like they burned in a furnace. Like you. Your complexion. Go ahead. You believe in God after you know what? Say it again. You believe in God after you know what? Yes, absolutely. You know what? Yes, I know God. I was going to. I don't believe in him. So watch this. You need God. You say you don't believe in who? God. You don't believe in God. I know him. You know him. Because ten years ago, I got two strokes, you know? Uh -huh. I was telling God that. Because when I rise up, I read, I, I, I read the Bible, I put the verse uh -huh. for it. He was there and he gave a second chance. You got a second chance? Yeah. All praise to the Most High. But watch this. This is how we know we know God. Yeah. Because we've been taught, we think we do. Oh, yeah. But here's the truth. First John 2 and 3. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 3. Yeah. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how you know you know Jesus. Oh, yeah. oh. If, if we keep his commandments. If the stipulation of knowing Jesus is keeping his commandments. Right. Churches never taught us the commandments. Uh, Churches just say, oh, be nice to people. Be a good person. Don't be mean to people. But it's so much more than that in the Bible. Right. For example, what do they call them out here? What, what is a, what a term for Bhakti boy? Homosexuality. Is that okay according to the Bible? No. Right. God said you can't live like that. Right. You find in Romans 1, 26 and 7. Right. Exactly. You know what, what, what? That which is unseemly. Yes. That's in, no, that, it's all over the Bible. Right. But you know what our people say? They say, oh no, that doesn't feel good. God don't care how you feel. God gave us his word. That's Either right. you're going to do it or you're not. That's right. Either you're going to do what God said or you're not. Matter of fact, go back to 1 John 2 and 3. Read that again. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. Read. Yeah. But hereby we do know that we know him. Hereby we do know that we know him. Come on. If 
we keep his commandments. We have to keep God's commandments because remember, that's why we went into slavery. That's why we went into slavery on abstention. Because we didn't keep God's commandments. Read. He that said, I know him. Read on. I keep him not his commandments. Read. He is a liar. That person that says, I know him, but don't keep the commandments is what? Is a liar. I had to understand this and I had to get to know God. I said, you know what? I'm going to cut out all the middlemen. Forget what people talk about. I'm going to read for myself and do what God said to that's me. That's right. And that's why we're here today. Read on. And the truth is not in him. The truth of God is not in him. You know what the truth is? Give me that Psalm 119, 142. Bring it out. What is the truth of God? For years we've been trying to find the truth. What is the truth? Who's telling the truth? This is the truth according to the Bible. Notice, everything I say, I come here. Right. I'm not like the pastors in the uh, in the churches. We not like them. Right. But we do a whole bunch of jibber jabber, and it ain't coming out the Bible. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 142. What is the truth? Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law. And thy law is the truth. The law of God is the truth. That's right. right. We got to come back to the real truth. Right. Not denominations and religion. Right. But come back to God. That's right. Man has created confusion, and if you follow man, you'll be destroyed. Give me that, John 17. If you follow man, you'll be destroyed. I'm sorry, Jeremiah. That's why God made perfect. Man's the one that messed it up. And that's what we do. You know why? Because we follow our feelings and not what God said. Read that. John 17. Submit to God. Exactly. If you don't submit to God, you're lost. You're lost. You're out of there. Watch this. Read. The book of John, chapter 17, and verse 5. Come on. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Curse be the man that trusted in man. The Bible says, curse be the man that trusted man. If you trust in your pastor, if you trust in a minister, if you trust in your grandma, your mama, or whoever, any person on earth, you're cursed, the Bible says. Curse be the man that trusts in man. Read. And make it plus his own. You make flesh a man just like you, your strength. This is why you smart enough to read this book, right? You smart enough to read this book, right? This is your responsibility. Right. Right. Because the word itself is the God self. The word is the God self. Exactly. Read. And whose heart departeth from the Lord. And whose heart departs from the Lord. What we've done is, we've gone away and just said, you know what? I'm going to live life how I want to live life. Right. Therefore, what did God do? He put us all into slavery. Wow. Look at us right now. We're on the, at the bottom of society right now because right. we won't do what God said to do. we got to come back to the law. There's no way out. Watch this. Let's go to the end of the Bible, Revelation 22, because we think the, the laws is done away with, right? That's what they told us in church. But in the Bible, it doesn't say that. Revelation 22, read verse 14. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Sorry, 12. Verse 12. Oh, and behold, uh -huh. I come quickly, and my reward is with me. You know Jesus is coming, right? You know Christ is coming. A lot of people think it's going to be a big old picnic with Christ Crow. Right. No, it's going to be death. That's right. It says, I come quickly, read. And my reward is with me. He says, my reward is with me. He's going to give everybody according to what they've done. Everybody gets a reward. You're working towards the reward right now. Read. To give every man uh -huh. according as his work shall be. Whether it's good or bad. Come on. I am Alpha and Omega. Read on. The beginning and the end. Come on. The first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Yeah, at the end of the Bible. This is the last chapter. It says, blessed are they that do his commandments. That's the only way. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. That they may have right to everlasting life. Read. And may enter in through the gates. And can enter in through the gates. Into the city. Ain't you trying to get into heaven? You got to keep the commandments and believe on Christ, right? Revelation 14, 12. It's, we've never been taught this because the churches teach you what society deems to be necessary or okay. If society says, all right, that's all right, then fine. That's why you got men walking around here dressed like women. Right. You got women walking around here dressed like men. Right. You got men that are sleeping with underage children, dealing with prostitutes. Right. You got all this stuff happening. Why? Because the churches have failed our people. Right. And they're teaching the same thing that white people talk to the slaves. Read. 
The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Come on. Here is the patience of the saints. Here's the patience of the saints. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. This, these men you see here are the men that's going to keep the commandments of God. You got to do this. This message got to go out all throughout the earth. All of our people got to wake up and come out of this stuff that we're into right now. It's a lot of sleep now. It's a whole lot of sleep. Read. I'm going to read that. And the faith of Jesus. And the faith of Jesus. The commandments and the faith of Jesus. Give me Romans 13 and 11, sir. We got to wake up out of sleep. We got a deep sleep. Also, uh, what's that? Uh, Isaiah 29 as well. Yes, sir. Read. The book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 10. Come on. No, excuse me. Verse 11. And that, knowing the time. Knowing the time. Christ is coming. Right now, we are at the precipice of destruction. Read. That now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time for us to wake up to who we are. It's high time that we wake up and realize this ain't living. Right now, we're a spectacle. You got white people walk, roll around on bikes, driving around, looking at our people like right. we're some type of tourist attraction. Right. Right. This is everyday life for you all. But they come here and they built all these shops up. They built all that stuff up on the pier for them, not you. Right. Free. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's how important our salvation is near. If we don't change, we're going to die in our sin. That's right. Isaiah 29. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 12. Read. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Come on. Say, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Come on. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as his people draw near me with uh, their mouth and with their lips to honor me. Read verse 9. What's up, bro? What's your name? Huh? Okay, my name's Abia. Watch this. Our people, I'm showing them right now, our people are asleep to who they are. Do you know your nationality, bro? You know what God called you? You're an Israelite. You are the real Jew. Right. You're the chosen. The blood that runs through your veins ran through Christ's veins. You hear me? But our people are asleep to this knowledge. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Isaiah right. 29 and 9. The book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 9. What? Stay yourselves and wonder. Stay yourselves and wonder. Come on. Cry it out and cry. Right now, our people are in the midst of oppression. We are crying out to God. Help us. Why is it like this? Read. They are drunken, but not with wine. Our people are drunk, but it's not with wine. Read. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Exactly. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Right now, our people walk around here right now like zombies. Don't know who they are. Don't know where they come from. Right. But they listen to the white men. Let the white men educate them and tell them who they are. Right. Come on. For the Lord have poured out upon you uh -huh. the spirit of deep sleep. That's the spirit that's on us right now. You know what we want to do? We want to follow whatever's popular on TV. We want to follow these rappers. We want to follow these entertainers. Those are the ones that lead our people. Not this Bible. Right. It says God poured out a spirit of deep sleep. Why? Because we upset the most time. We got this all. The Bible is our compass. Huh? The Bible is our compass. To lead us back. Yes. That's, That's right. the only way to get back to the Most High. That's you want to say this? Yes, sir. Men of Israel, sons of God, patient saints, sons of God. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. Right. Next teacher. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.